Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from BTN HD and how to set up your browsers within Windows 10 to automatically, you know, launch to private mode. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys for three browsers. We're gonna take care of Chrome, Firefox and Internet Explorer. So here it goes my notes, which I'm gonna provide the notes at the bottom for you guys. And the first one is Chrome. So I'm gonna copy this guy right here. Let's minimize that. Let's open up Chrome. And when we open up Chrome, it's normal browser, right? Nothing special. Let's close it up. What we need to do is right click on it. Right click on Google Chrome. Go to properties. And within the target, we're going to paste that right there. Okay. Awesome. We're going to apply it. Okay. And now we're going to open up Chrome. And if we open up Chrome, it should open up into incognito mode. Awesome. Now for Firefox, Firefox is a little different. Uh, you actually have to launch up Firefox. Once Firefox is loaded, we want to go into the menu. Within menus, you want to go to options. Within options, you want to go inside privacy. And right here within the history section, you want to change the remember history to the never remember history. And then it's going to restart. So restart Firefox. And then every time you use Firefox and it's using cookies in the background, it's not going to be using cookies. It's not going to recognize your history anymore, which is a good thing. Now, the last one on our list is Internet Explorer. And we are going to copy this guy right here. Copy it. And let's launch Internet Explorer. So as you can see, Internet Explorer logged in normally. No problem. So let's close it up. And let's change that up a little bit. So let's right click on the IE icon. We're going to right click here, go to properties. We're going to erase the target location and paste a new one. And the new one just actually has a parameter of dash private. We're going to apply it, OK it. And let's launch our IE again. And if everything goes well, you should see in private. And that's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video of how to configure your Windows 10 browsers to automatically get into private mode. If you have any questions or concerns, leave them at the bottom and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.